that's what Persevere is all about. You know, creating pieces and clothing that allow you to feel as confident as you know you should be. Um, and so this piece in particular, like all of our pieces, are cut and sew. So it's not going to be, you know, a gilded tee or a basic tee that you can just print on. We make them from scratch. How much we doing another episode of Brands Marketing Community. We have a great expert right here in the fashion industry. So she's going to go ahead and introduce herself and her brand. Hi, guys. I'm Margaret Williamson. I am the CEO of Persevere Clothing, abbreviated PRSBR. It's an elevated lifestyle brand based here in Los Angeles. We design and manufacture all of our own products, full lifestyle, uh, from footwear to denim, luggage, accessories. If you want it, we've got it. For sure. So that's great. I would like to thank you for creating this brand. Um, you know, actually some great quality with what you guys created. And something that we wanted to do is go over a few of these pieces that we picked up. Yeah. First thing we want to talk about is this shirt right here. You, know, you talked to me some of the specifics and the details of it. But if you can break it down a little bit, some of the creative that went behind the design of the piece. Yeah, of course. So we call this our from our Eagle collection. And it is, it's in honor of my father, actually. He passed away earlier this year. And we wanted to honor him in a way. And when I was growing up, he would have all kinds of statues of eagles all around our yard, all around our house. He was in the military and he was actually part of a battalion called the Screaming Eagles. Um, he was a paratrooper and put his life on the line, but he would always remind us that, you know, eagles, when they're trying to evade danger, they don't necessarily always have to go into an, for, for an attack, even though they're fierce fighters, they just elevate. They go to a higher elevation where a lot of their enemies simply can't breathe anymore. We just thought that's such like a great note and something to internalize for ourselves too, that, you know, like Michelle Obama goes, right? Like when they go low, we go high, right? When someone's coming after you, we just go higher and higher. And that's what Persevere is all about. You know, creating pieces and clothing that allow you to feel as confident as you know you should be. Um, and so this piece in particular, like all of our pieces, are cut and sew. So it's not going to be, you know, a gilded tee or a basic tee that you can just print on. We make them from scratch. And so this one in particular has more of a slim fit uh, where you can see the one I'm wearing today is kind of an oversized fit. So each design is unique to what we're trying to convey here. This is a great layering piece. And instead of, you know, you've got a full scale graphic on the front that's going to kind of run the full length as so you guys will see how large it is in comparison to the full size of the shirt. And instead of that, I'm going to get a little bit closer so you guys can see the metallic finish. You feel that? See that sheen? So it pairs really nicely with rose gold accents with some pale pink, some dust, dust colored, rose colored things. And then my favorite part is this quote on the back. And it has, you know, it has the eagle imprint on the back, um, behind it. But it says, fear is what makes us fall. Now, a lot of times we hear the saying, fear is what makes us fail. But the reality is, look, we can succeed scared, right? Fear is not something that should stop you from trying to accomplish your goals. It's not something that automatically means you're going to lose or you're going to fail. Right. But it can make you fall. This um, has a unique story. We were actually... My husband and I own and operate the brand together. He's the one that designs all the work. And One second. We're going to get to the next piece of this. Second okay. has a big piece of the interview because I, I myself wanted to know what the story was behind it. So yeah. stay tuned. We're going to get to that piece. So we are back with the story behind the concept with the shirt. So we can continue to get into it. Right. So, okay. So one of the perks of living in Southern California is that there's the ability to go on a lot of seaside hike and so one day in my family my husband and I and our two boys were going on a hike and there was a, a little pathway where it got pretty thin and you had to edge away around the cliff and you know my oldest son he's usually very confident and courageous you know started to get really nervous and you know second guess you know looking down into sweet the whole time instead of looking up getting really scared and it finally hit me it's like it's the fear that's going to make you fall right? We have to trust ourselves. Trust yourself to know that you can take a step, that your foot is going to support your weight, that you do this all the time, that you put one foot in the front of the other. But it's sometimes the fear doesn't make us fail, but it most definitely can make us stumble and fall. And so that's what this shirt is just a reminder of, is that, you know, hey, we can win scared, we can succeed scared, but we sure are going to get a lot of bumps and bruises on the way. So as soon as you can kind of get over that fear, put it aside, you know, put it in the right compartment because it's going to be, it's natural, right? It's here, but it's not from God. So if you're feeling that here, 
you can know that it it's a distraction, right? It's here to trip you up, make you fall. That's cool. That's that's amazing. So, and um, how did he do? Your son? He did it right. Okay. I mean, yeah, okay. made it fast. No falling. There we go. That's <laughs> yeah. perfect. Yeah, he didn't fall. He didn't. Fall. So this is also in honor of her son too. So it's, it is. Uh, you know, his his grandfather on the front, and her mm-hmm. grandfather on the front, her son on the back. Yeah. So that's kind of cool to tie the whole family in. You know, with her creative side, put that, you know, put the finishing touches on it. Definitely. It's awesome. So we also got a gift with the purchase. You know, gifts are great. If you can tie gifts in with your brand whenever you can do that, people will remember them. And that'll make people want to come back. You'd be surprised what this kind of gifts and stuff will do. So we could talk about, um, well, you oh, okay. Yeah, I grabbed one, right? So you don't have to open your box, right? That's okay. your gift. There. I got you. Okay. Uh, but this is, you know, it's a puzzle cube, right? So we see on a lot, you know, Rubik's Cubes is the most popular one um but usually they're done in like those roy g bib colorways right like really stimulating the red orange yellow really bright colors and so we wanted one first that would be a little bit more useful that was the starting point you know how can we make something that you know with the the advance and the popularity of like fidget spinners and fidget toys and all these things that we want to keep on our desk um to distract us and keep us mentally stimulated can we have one that is not just always a visual distraction right and then the second part is as we decided what colors we wanted to do, we actually dropped this product during COVID. And, you know, as I'm sure we all remember the amount of just like civil unrest and just, you know, chaos and turmoil that was going on, especially in the United States here. And we wanted this to serve as a reminder that no matter what our differences are, they're, they're only shades apart, right? It's just they're millimeters apart the differences that we have and that we're all just different shades of brown and so whether it's all mixed up or you can get it to where each side is its own color we're all connected and we can easily blend together and so that's kind of the story behind the shade cube awesome so thank you for that thanks for the shades cube Uh, this looks like a great piece so i know i got it for will love this because you know she's into that as well Perfect. Yeah. Great yeah. client gifts, you know, and that's part with like marketing and things like that. Just always trying to find ways that it can benefit your customer right. or client, right? That they might not think of off. Sure. It's awesome. Mm-hmm. So when we talk about marketing, we know it's always a big piece to what you're doing. That's why you have the logo on the walls. That's why you have the set of the app. But um, the brand has been going since what year? And we've been doing it since 2013. 10 uh, year anniversary. 10 year anniversary. Congratulations. Thank made it. You. Guys have made it. As many as the level, most brands don't make it fast. Yes. And it, you know, I mean, it was a tough, it's not, I always joke, I'm like, man, honey, we should have named it winning instead of persevere. Right. Because that's exactly what we've had to do is just have this mentality that the work never stops, you know, never quit, never surrender. Right. Um, just adapt the business to not only the environment, but to your lifestyle and right. what your goals are as a business owner, as a family. And then making sure that, right, the business doesn't put your family out of business. For sure. So when it comes to marketing, uh, what has been working for you guys as far as, you know, bringing out to bring clients in, keep business going? Like what marketing channels are you guys using? You guys doing website? You guys doing social media? Yeah, we definitely try to hit, you know, as many channels as possible. I really have a theory called like three points of contact. It's something you hear like in safety and climbing a lot of times, right? right. You have, like two feet in one hand or two hands in one foot touching, right. touching your surface. Right. And, you know, for me, that was kind of my philosophy in acquiring clients as well, is that they usually need to hear from you at least three times. I think now they've shown that it's way more than that. Right. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, at least three meaningful connections. Right. And so I'm trying to make that first one be maybe just an image that you'll see, right? A really great image that gets you intrigued. The second one is always great if it can come from, right, someone you trust, a right. friend that you know that wears the brand, a celebrity that you've seen that wears the brand. Okay. And then the third is going to be that point of contact. So we love having physical fit shops where people can come in, touch the product. You know, even though we do the majority of our business online, mm-hmm. um, these type of installations that we do all over the country in different months, in different seasons around major events, Right. gives our customers and our social media following an opportunity to see that we're real and it exists as this coat, you know, that you're planning on purchasing and spending a few hundred dollars on right. is is really here. And it really is the quality that we're, we're telling you that it is. For sure. So if you would give someone that's struggling to kind of put it together, like, 
you know, because when you start these off, especially you talk about social media, yeah, it's a you know, it's a hard experience out there. It's not always just you post something and it goes it goes good. So if you can, you know, you, you know, provide a word of wisdom to them, yeah. what would that be? You know, uh, create a plan and try to stick to it. You know, and I have to take my own advice. It was much easier for me to do that when we were starting out, right. um, and I didn't have results to kind of you know benchmark it against. You know, now that I have this experience, sometimes we can get caught up. I did do one thing and it was so successful. And so you're chasing what, you know, what might have worked in the past. And it's just none of those circumstances are the same anymore. Right. Right. I mean, everything continues to change. So what started for us and I think what worked best is we used to, you know, we have the thing we're going to post three times a day. One post is going to be, you know, inspirational quote. One post is going to be about a product. You know, one post is going to be more relationship storytelling, you know, building. And it it worked. It grew our audience really well. I don't know why we stopped. (laughs) But, you know, that's. That's what I would say is like, you know, set a plan and just stick to it. You know, if you say, hey, I'm going to do this for six months, do it for six months. Because the hardest part is usually it starts working and then we start changing the plan, right? Like right, right. now you're not doing the thing that made it happen in the first place. Right. Um, and everything is retroactive, right? So you won't necessarily see the results of your new plan not working right. until, you know, much later. Years down the road. Right. For sure. Mm-hmm. So do you guys have anything coming up for 2024? Any events, anything, you know, special plan? Yeah, we actually are, you know, we're in Hollywood or in LA and no matter what city we're in, we're always trying to find out what's something we can do here that we can't do anywhere else. And, you know, the story of Persevere is one that we hope can inspire a lot of people. So we filmed the pilot episode. We retold the story of, you know, my husband and I meeting him being kind of just dreamer, entrepreneur, uh, me coming from, you know, that corporate world and wanting something more and diving all the way in. And, you know, it's going to be a roller coaster ride where you guys can really see what it took to make, you know, make a brand. It's going to, you know, it's more sitcom drama based, but it's definitely ripped from the headlines of our life. Okay. And uh, I think that's going to be really exciting. We're looking forward to 2024 to roll out that series. Where can we catch that on? Hopefully we're looking for deals with Tubi. I think it's going to be like our first choice so that, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's in households and you can stream it for free. Okay. Um, outside of that, we're going to be doing screening as we do our pop-ups all around the country. So you can mm-hmm. always catch us in person and that'll be exciting because then you can see the product as well. You can meet Brandon and myself. Um, but hopefully, I mean, that'd be great if it's on Netflix. I don't know, right? Oh, the sky's the limit. Like, we'll speak the, it. No, uh, no, all right, you got to speak it. You got to speak what you want. Yeah. Because then there's a belief that gets created that it can't happen. Like you say, you know, the two B with the Netflix, like, you know, the partnerships and with you being in the, with the Los Angeles being the backdrop. Right. There's so many opportunities that can be created with this being the environment. That's right. Right. That's right. You gotta leverage it. You know, go for it. Absolutely. And you know how passionate you are with the brand. We believe that anything can happen. Amen. Right. So uh, we'd like to, you know, thank Margaret again for, you know, stopping by, talking to us, let us know what's works for Margaret marketing and continuing to persevere through everything. That's right. That's right. And you guys, you know, reach out to us. We manage our own social media. So if you, you know, if you leave us a message, we will get around to it. At PR, SVR, persevere with ease pulled out is a good way to remember it. Okay. Obviously, you can shop the full collection online at www.persevere.com. Okay. And then you can catch our pop-up shops from all around the country right now. We're here in Glendale Galleria. And we'll be here through the entire holiday season into the beginning of 2024 at a minimum. Awesome. So we love that. We love what their brand represents, what they're doing. So thank you guys for checking it out. And make sure you check out Support Persevere like we do.